The Behringer X32 makes it really easy to adjust your anteriors directly on the console itself. But to do that, you have to be careful that you're adjusting your ears and nobody else's. So let's take a look at exactly how we adjust those. Let's go. All right, so in this video, we have Josiah here, and he's going to teach us how to adjust our ears on stage using the X32 interface. Yeah. So what we got here? So um, the only reason you'd really do this is if the app's not working, if you didn't don't have an app, or if you don't have a, um, a monitor engineer mixing um, live. So for our campus, we're going to have this side of stage. This may not be the case for everybody, but it's going to be on stage to the side. So you can walk over to a rehearsal if you don't want to pull out your phone and change your in-ears, which is a little bit faster, a little bit easier to use than the app. Um, the important thing, though, unlike the app, you can change the sound live so easily and mess everything up with this. So you have mm. to be very, very careful with this, very slow and aware of what you're doing. With great um, power comes great responsibility. Yes, yes, so you can literally come here and turn this down and then we have no sound and you're going to stop rehearsal and it's going to be frustrating. Everyone's going to... Um, be upset so don't do that <laughs> but um, so what we want to do is right here this is how we get to your in-ears um, there's different pages so we want the things we're interested in are the buses buses 9 through 16 buses 1 through 8 that's where you're going to be it's not going to be the DCAs or the matrix it's going to be these all right so we want to tab through and you read the scribble strips so this is IEM 5 in-ear monitor 5 in-ear monitor 6 then right here we have 1 2 3 and 4 all right so just make sure you read those Say I'm in your monitor three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find myself. I'm um, not there. Not there. Oh, here we are. I am three. Um, don't need it. Uh, I'm gonna select it. All right. So we're gonna select in your monitor three. And this is the critical step. This is gonna make sure we're not adjusting things anywhere except for your ears. You wanna hit this button. Sends on fader. All right. What this does is it's gonna be what you send to this fader. This this little piece called a fader. So what you're gonna send on the fader. All right. So if if you see when I adjust this, all of a sudden all these change. That's your mix. That is IM3's mix right now. Everything's turned down. <laughs> um, so now I can go through and without adjusting anything except for my ears, make sure it's yours, not your buddy on IM4. You can um, adjust it so I can turn up the bass. Um, I can turn down EG1 because EG1's being obnoxious or whatever. Um, and then we can tap through. All right. So I'm IM4, so I will be on mic four and there's no mic four. So we're going to bring that up. We're going to bring down these mics so we don't hear them too much. We're going to bring these in but not too loud and you can just go through and adjust what you want i want a little tracks i want a little stems um i want a little bit of reverb and delay kind of liven up the sound a little bit and you can just tap through when you're done so the next person comes doesn't get messed up if the sound guy's got to run over here and change things turn off sends on fader so now we're back to what's going live everything's muted um so yeah that's basically it and so i think it cannot be overstated sends on fader has to be blinking before you make any adjustments. So just remember, if it ain't blinking, you ain't thinking. Oh, because like <laughs> the moment you don't do it, we're jacking up everything. If it ain't blinking, you're drinking. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, anything else that we want to talk about with this? No. I know that um, one thing that we got to be careful of too, like you said, if you have the select button lit up on an IEM that's not yours, you're going to be messing up your teammates in your mm -hmm. mix right and so even like these are the same color it could be really easy on a dark stage to come up here and like oh yeah 13 let me hit 13 well you actually that's 14 yep. but you're going quick and so you can't really think about it so one thing that might be helpful um for your team to do is to label each of these with a separate color i know these are probably stereo set up mm -hmm. in stereo right now yeah. right and so i think the more that we can adjust a separate color for each of these then that's going to be easier for on the fly changes especially on a dark stage yep so well, Josiah, thank you for showing us how to make these adjustments. Yes, sir.